Earlier this year, I attended a charity auction event and won a ride in a Vietnam-era Fallen Nat supersonic jet trainer. The ride coincided with us receiving a Lumia 1520 to review, so I took the large Windows phone up with me, along with a GoPro Hero 3 Black that the GoPro folks were kind enough to loan us. I'm cutting together more footage of the Lumia 1520 hands-on later today, but I wanted to pull together some highlights from the GoPro footage of me being tossed around in the Nat. If it looks like I'm yawning a few times as we get off the ground, it's not that I'm bored. I'm just equalizing my ears. The little fighter's cockpit changed pressure with some rapidity. Takeoff was fast. The acceleration was awesome, and it kept up long after we were wheels up. Once off the runway, we climbed steadily to about 13,000 feet, checking in with all kinds of different air traffic controllers, and made our way out to Galveston, where the pilot requested a box from 13,000 to 1,000 feet for maneuvering. And then we started. That's me nearly whomping my head on the canopy for the first roll. After that, it was straight into a 5G bank. I kept on trying to film with the Lumia, but all of a sudden everything got really heavy. I started to get a bit of tunnel vision, too, and so I started squeezing my legs and glutes and grunting to keep blood up in my brain like they told me to do. It mostly worked. We pulled a couple of more rolls immediately after that, and I started to get extremely queasy. Each roll was shockingly disorienting, and even knowing that they were coming, I've never gotten even slightly motion sick on roller coasters or in cars, but this was just crazy. I let the pilot know that one more roll might put me into hurl territory, and he laughed and said he'd go easier on me. We buzzed around Galveston for about a quarter hour, then returned to the Million Air FBO outside of Houston Hobby Airport. The landing was smooth, almost like a commercial jet. I was left with some amazing memories and, fortunately, with my breakfast still inside of me. <laughs>